Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Juanita. Good morning. Good mo Hey, Heartbeat Andrea. Hey, Heartbeat Jasmine. Hey there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Tisha. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Rachel. Hey, Heartbeat Sean. Good morning. Great Wednesday morning to you as well, Heartbeat Rachel. Hey, Heartbeat Brittany. Hey, Heartbeat Nation. Can you guys welcome Heartbeat Brittany? I didn't mention that yesterday, but yesterday was her first day. So can you welcome Heartbeat Brittany this morning? Hey, Heartbeat Carolyn. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Aaliyah. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Troy. Good morning. Welcome, Heartbeat Britt. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was kind of like in the groove yesterday, so I didn't get to say welcome to you on this morning, yesterday morning. So welcome. Hey, Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I want to say good morning too <clears throat> to those who watch on YouTube. We have some that watch on YouTube that don't watch on Facebook. So good morning to Heartbeat Nation on YouTube. Good morning to Tommy. Good morning to Cecilia. Good morning to Joyce. Good morning to Robin. And then shout out to Heartbeat Cecilia. I actually got to meet her on Sunday. She is one of the Heartbeats that is on YouTube. So good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Christine. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's get right in and get started. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts this morning. And today, your daily dosage is this. Get up and stay up. Get up and stay up. Hey, Heartbeat Eva. Hey, Heartbeat Linda. And so, you know, in this life that we live, sometimes we have a tendency to fall back on what we've been believing God for. You know, if it didn't happen in a certain amount of time, we give up on it. Well, I came to encourage you on this morning to tell you to get up and to stay up. That everything that God has placed on the inside of you, he intended for it to be finished. And sometimes we allow our dreams, we allow our goals, we allow them to die. We begin to feel empty inside. We begin to feel like, you know, I can't do this. Well, maybe, you know, I was dreaming too big. All of that stuff that the enemy puts on the inside of us. You know, some of it is life circumstances. Sometimes life can hit you with the bang and it'll knock you down and you don't feel like getting up. But I'm here to tell you on this morning that God sent me just for you to tell you to get up and stay up. And then sometimes, you know, we think that the situation is so bad that it cannot be right resurrected. Well, I want you to know that God has raised, sent his son Jesus to raise the dead. And if Jesus can raise the dead, you still have life in you. You still have breath in you. Surely he can raise your situation. Surely he can get you back to where you need to be. You know, back in the Bible in, um, what was it? Luke 7. Nan's son was dead. You guys remember that Jesus was passing through the funeral procession. He felt so bad about this mother losing her only son that he touched the casket and the message version says, he says, son, get up. What am I saying to you, somebody out there today? Get up. Your situation is not dead. I don't care if it looks like a funeral has already been planned for. I'm here to tell you, don't throw dirt on the grave just yet because you still have life in you. There is a dream that God still wants you to accomplish there. You still have purpose, you still have destiny. If that's not enough for you, what about Jairus' daughter? Remember, she was dead. God was on, Jesus was on his way to see her. But the woman with the issue of blood stopped that because she wanted to be made whole so bad. She stopped Jesus where he was. But it says that, you know, once Jesus finished with the woman with the issue of blood, that somebody went to him and said, don't worry Jesus anymore because she's already dead. And Jesus stopped that right in his tracks. Like, don't believe that. Continue to have faith. Same thing. He went to her. Same thing. Message virgin says he says daughter get up and so I'm telling you that that situation isn't dead it may look like it's dead but God is resurrecting the dead and again once again you are not dead you still have breath in your body so I'm using these examples to show you that if he can bring light to the dead if he can resurrect the dead then surely you with life still in you he can raise up your situation baby girl brother man get up on this morning and stay up dust off those dreams. Pull out that vision book. Think about all the 
the things that you know God has already told you to do and finish them, accomplish them. You have life in you. You have purpose in you. That's not enough. What about his friend Lazarus? Lazarus was dead and had been dead for days. And what did Jesus tell him? Lazarus, come forth. I'm telling you, Anita, come forth. Brittany, come forth. Juanita, come forth. Rachel, come forth. Rachel, come forth. Andrea, come forth. Donald, Troy, come forth on this morning. God wants to use you. You still have purpose. And when I say get up and stay up, stop going back to those terrible times in your life. You know how you'll say, oh, I made it through. I'm good. I'm delivered. And then somehow or another, a couple days go by and you start feeling lonely or you start feeling not yourself. And you go back to that get out of your past and stay in the present so that you can move into your future. Get up and stay up. Don't you remember in the Bible when God asked Ezekiel, he said, can these dry bones live? What was he saying to him? Can you believe me enough? Do you have enough faith to know that I can restore you, that I can resurrect your situation, that everything is going to be all right? Get up and stay up. Are you hearing me on this morning? When, when I say, are you hearing me? Are you renewing your mind? Are you taking this in? Are you applying this word to your life so that you can see what God has for you? Get up on this morning and stay up. I'm going to call it again. Heartbeat Linda, get up and stay up. Heartbeat Tisha, get up and stay up. Heartbeat Sean, get up and stay up. Get up and stay up on this morning. God has so much in store for you. Remember yesterday, he wants to do good to you. Allow him to do good to you. Get up and stay up. That is your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to our YouTube channel. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org and save the date. Save the date of... November 19th, November 26th, and December 3rd. I'm doing a night of healing to help those who are dealing with grief and are not looking forward to the holidays. God wants you to know that you will make it through these holidays. He wants the best for you. I placed that flyer on my Facebook wall. Please share that because I know grief has touched all of our households. And so if you know someone that is having a hard time as these holidays are approaching, please share that information with them. You know how we close this out. Say, God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I love you guys a bunch and I will see you tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Go out there and have a spec while amazing day and get up and stay up. See you in the morning.